Shark Week is one of the most popular events on TV every year. But what many people don't know is Montana and Billings used to be home to several different species of sharks. This area here actually used to be called the Western Interior Seaway, and where I'm standing would have been beachfront property. The rim rocks in Billings are what's known as Eagle Sandstone. It's the remains of a barrier island that was between a coastal lagoon to the west and the Western Interior Seaway. The Western Interior Seaway happened about 80 to 70 million years ago and split North America in two. Callie Moore is the collections manager of the Paleontology Center at the University of Montana, so she's used to visualizing the world in a much older state. To find out how to visualize Montana during the Cretaceous period, when giant sharks roamed the waterways, she says picture our state with a separation between land and sea. This map helps to do that. It would look similar. The animals would look similar, but you would think that they're in the wrong place. You'd be like, wait, these are animals that live near the tropics today, uh, but they are living right up here. We were basically at the same latitude as we are today. The water to the east was deep, up to 3,000 feet, and it was full of large sharks and other predators like mosasaur and various bony fish that roamed the sea. Mosasaur, which was a swimming reptile, was the ultimate apex predator in this region, getting up to a whopping 52 feet. However, there was a shark that, while not as big, was at the top of the food chain in its own right. Cretoxyrhina is definitely the closest that Montana comes to uh, a great white shark that lived around here. But it would have lived in the western interior seaway, um, and it's at least one has been found kind of in the general vicinity of Lewistown and and Billings. This guy got up to 26 feet, which is no small shark. Another found in this region is Squally Corax, which got up to 16 feet long, although most found were closer to 6 feet in length. Sharks found in the western interior seaway on average measured about 2 to 5 meters in length, according to Moore. There were lots of really big creatures that lived in the Western Interior Seaway, and sharks were one of them. Moore says that although it would have been different if you were transported back in time, you could have had a fairly normal day at the beach, with one small caveat. You could have stood on that beach, and you could have had a fishing pole and put it into the water and caught yourself a shark if you wanted to. Yeah, all you'd have to do is just like watch out and not get eat by some theropod dinosaur. In Billings, Phil Van Pelt, MTN News.